Hello and welcome to the Armanino Consulting Microsoft Dynamics CRM tutorial series. Our topic for this session will be marketing lists. The creation of marketing lists plays a key role in campaigns. After all, you need to make sure your communication goes out to the right people, and we also want to make sure that these people are receiving relevant, pertinent information from us. The last thing we want to do is spam people into unsubscribing from our lists. So, let's jump right into it. I'm going to head over to the marketing section and there we go I'm right at marketing lists and I'm looking at my active marketing lists and let's start by doing new so there are two types of marketing lists we're going to explore in this session one is dynamic and the second is static so with the dynamic that's the first one we're going to do I want to put together a list of all of my contacts in Seattle and when I use this list I don't want to have to refresh it Anytime I use it, I want CRM to go out and refresh the list on its own. So we're going to embed a query into this list, and it's much easier than it sounds. So let's start out by giving it a name, Seattle Contacts, Member Type. We can generate a marketing list from any of these three entities, Accounts, Contacts, or Leads. Now we often get the question, well, what do I do when I need to market to leads and contacts? And I'm here to say, don't worry about it, because when we get into campaigns in that tutorial series, we're going to show you that you can attach multiple marketing lists to a single campaign. So don't let uh, this limitation or apparent limitation get you worried. It's going to be just fine. So with this one, we're going to go into contact. We're going to choose dynamic. We have to first hit save. You'll notice that the manage members option isn't available yet. So let's hit save. And now we can get in to manage members. Now because this is a dynamic list, we have to create or attach some type of a query so it knows what it should be querying for every time we use it. Now if I had already built an advanced find to generate the list of Seattle folks, I could grab that from my list of saved views. I have one for Denver, which doesn't do us any good for the Seattle contacts. So we're going to generate this one from scratch. So over here to select the city equals Seattle. Now if I want to preview that and see what uh, the return, the results are, I can choose find and it'll show me that there are 10 folks in my database. If I'm happy with the results, then I can simply hit use the query. And now that is embedded in this marketing list. So as I add folks to the database, if the city is Seattle, they'll automatically be added to this marketing list. And if I remove folks, or if they have an address change, CRM will take care of that for me automatically. So let's take a look at the second type of marketing list, and that is static. Start out the same way with new. I'm going to call this my top five for the member type. I'm going to stick with contacts again, but I'm going to leave it as static and we'll hit save. And when we get into the section for where we manage the members, we're going to see that we have a number of other options available to us. Use the lookup allows us to pick and choose individually. I want this person, that person, that person. Use the advanced find works exactly like what we saw the dynamic marketing list do in that we can create a query add folks from that query to the list. The major difference though, in the static, it does not automatically update itself. You use the query to generate the list and then you can further massage or manipulate the membership of that list at your own discretion. For this one we're going to choose use the lookup. And this is the list of all the contacts in my system. I'm going to pick five folks that I want to consider my top five contacts. There we go. And we'll say OK. And then where is that list? It's right here. If I want to add more folks to this, I have an option here to manage members. And I can use the same tools to add folks to the existing marketing list. With the dynamic list, I don't have an option to add more folks to it because that list is entirely based on the query that I embedded into it. So let's take a look at Adrian's record. Now oftentimes I'll be looking at a contact record in the system or a lead for that matter and I'll wonder do I have them on a specific marketing list or not? And you can 
determine that directly from within the contact record. So on Adrian's record, if I travel over on to the navigation pane under marketing and marketing lists, here I can see that Adrian is a member of my top five contacts. That's great. If I wanted to add him to another list, perhaps, I'd be able to go in here. And if I had other ones that weren't dynamic, I'd be able to add Adrian to another list. All right. Now I want to take advantage of showing you how the dynamic really does work. I'm going to go find the record for Sue. We can see that she is in the city of Denver. If I take a look at the marketing list that she is a member of, she's not a member of any of them. So I'm going to move her. I get the uh, move notice, change of address, that she has migrated to Seattle. So we'll update these. And we'll say save and close. Let's head back over to our marketing list for Seattle contacts. And you may remember when we first built that list, there were 10 folks in there. And now there are 11. And we've done nothing to add Sue to that list in a manual sense. Simply changing her city to Seattle has updated that list. And so she'll receive any of the marketing materials that we send to the folks of this list. All right, last thing I want to share with you is how do these things play into campaigns? So let's head over to our campaign section of the marketing area. And I've got this new ad campaign. Within any campaign, you're going to see a section for target marketing lists. Notice the plural. So right now, we're using a single marketing list for this campaign and it's based on the leads entity. What I want to do is add to this my Seattle contacts and I could add any of these other ones as well. For now we'll just grab that one. It's asking do I want to include all those folks on the additional campaign activities and that makes sense to me. We would want to do that. And so now I have a campaign that consists of multiple lists one of them is based on contacts and is dynamic and the other is based on leads and it is static. So that's what I was hoping to share with you on the marketing list topic. If you'd like to learn more about implementing Microsoft CRM within your organization, give us a call or drop us an email. We'd be happy to help you through the process. Thanks so much and have a great day.